welcome back to the workshop, or the cave as some have called it. Now, winter's here in full force, it's dark, it's cold, all the ranges are shut, there's really not much shooting to be done. Now luckily we still have the air cartridges, which you've seen in a uh, previous episode of Bloke on the Range, to keep us going, uh, but it still remains a humble old air gun, ah, with which we could shoot at paper targets. I prefer something a little more dynamic. So I rummaged into the depths of the workshop, emptied some drawers, and I've come up with these. Let's take a closer look. So here's the first target. Now, very importantly, this requires the drinking of at least five bottles of wine before you get started. The targets are, in fact, corks, each one drilled through and with a aluminium tubing sleeve over the top. Uh, just so happens that corks appear to have a standard diameter, which is great. Uh, they fit nice and snug inside the sleeve there. The tape is there just to make them a bit more visible. So there's a rope passing through each target and I've drilled a hole so in the centre line and then progressively greater angle for the outer targets and then joined all the ropes together in one and the theory is once you've knocked all five over like so you just go and give a good tug and the targets reset so that's simple enough now the other target is a little more complicated. So this is the second target, uh, basically a swinging target. Four stainless steel spoons wrapped around uh, an old aluminium crossbow bolt. This sheath here has some slots cut in it, which is just to guide the spoons when they flip back. At the rear, is another old crossbow bolt shaft with one spoon fixed in place. There are also four pairs of little magnets which line up with the spoons. So the idea is when you shoot, spoons go back one by one and then you fire at the bottom one, flips up and the whole thing resets. At least that's the theory. So for this one, um, reclaimed bit of shelving from a well-known Scandinavian furniture shop. Uh, here we've got ice hockey sticks from uh, Master Chap and Mistress Chap, and yeah, the old bits of wood. Um, there's some metal sheeting underneath there to catch a little bit of the splash back. So, I would suggest we take them out to the barn and uh, see if they perform in real life. Right, here we are in the hayloft. As you can see, already set up for a dull, boring paper shooting. Now, this house is about 500 years old and you wouldn't believe the amount of lead pellets just stuck in the wooden walls around here. Anyway, Shooting will be done with this wonderfully made device, Walther Umarek's Winchester air gun. Uses a uh, eight shot rotary drum that pops into this little chamber here. Great fun for all the family. Highly recommend it. Right, let's get shooting. Okay, target number one is set up. Shooting will be done at more or less six meters kneeling. Go and see what happens. Oh, so good luck, see if I can get that one again. There we go. 
So they work rather well. And if one wanted to go again, there we go. Alright. Switch. Right, so here's the second target. Uh, the more astute observers among you will notice that the stickers etc have changed on the spoons. This is because in true bloke on the range fashion, halfway through the first attempt, my gun ran out of gas and the camera ran out of battery. So we're all set up again. Let's hope it runs more smoothly. So, it worked in theory and in practice. There we go. Not bad for a rainy day. Well, as you could see, the targets worked quite well. Um, now, I'm perfectly aware that I could probably just go out and buy something that uh, would do more or less the same thing, uh, but it's a bit more satisfying to make something yourself. So, anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, like and subscribe, etc, etc. Goodbye! <laughs>